Let's go meet the Stevens family. Uh, what you got there? Well, we wanted to share this. Uh, 40 years ago, our family was on this show, uh, and we are back, and so I guess you can say... 40 years ago. Yes. Yeah, 40 years ago. Yes. Our, our parents. Yeah. <laughs> our aunts, aunts, parents. So our aunts and parents were on this show. Wow. That's pretty. And you're back 40 years later. Yes. 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 Now, it was a good show back then, but this the one right oh, here, yeah. though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, introduce everybody. Well, Steve, I have my very lively cousin, Cheryl. Hey. And my big brother, Daron. <laughs> my outgoing cousin, Candace. And my calm, cool, and collected cousin, Courtney. Oh, yeah. I have something I need to do for you, Matt. Oh, you got something you need to do for me? Yes. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm here to validate, validate a very defining moment in your life, Steve. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> there was a comedy club in Memphis many years ago called the Comedy Zone. Comedy Zone, yeah. You did shows there. All and the at time. this one particular show, I was there. You started your show. You were killing it. You had us dying, what you call, tear your mouth out laughing. Tear your <laughs> mouth out. <laughs> yes. But anyway, you started your show, and you, all of a sudden, you stopped. And in comes, through the door comes a beautiful woman. You stood there for a moment and looked at her. You picked up the mic finally and said, woman, I don't know who you are, but one day I'm going to make you my wife. <laughs> That's a true story. <laughs> that woman he talking about is a chick named Marjorie. Yes. You were there that night? I was there. Damn, Deron, that's all right. Anyway, let's play the game. Who in here wants $20,000? Let's get it on. Give me Brian. Give me Deron. All right, guys, top six answers on the board. This is a fill in the blank. We asked 100 single women. To get rid of a guy you don't like, you might tell him you're what? Brian. Pregnant. Pregnant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on. Don't like him. You don't like him. Let's play. Let's play. We're going to play, Steve. We're going to play. All right, family, now listen to me. I'm going to say this one time. This is a fill in the blank, and we ask 100 single women. Okay, Stephanie. To get rid of a guy you don't like, you might tell him you're what? I have no job. Tell him you don't have a job. <laughs> <laughs> Allie, to get rid of a guy you don't like, you might tell him you're what? Married. Married. <laughs> to get rid of a guy you don't like, you might tell him you're what? Uh, I'm gonna say attracted to the other sex. Attracted <laughs> to the other sex. <laughs> Annie, firefighter, to get rid of a guy you don't like, you might tell him you're what? I have another single friend. I have another oh. single friend. We got two strikes, family. We got to be careful now, Brian. Stevens' family can steal. To get rid of a guy you don't like, you might tell him you're what? Moving, Steve. Moving. Moving! Oh. All right, family, fill in the blank. We ask 100 single women to get rid of a guy you don't like, you might tell him you're what? Yeah. We're going with STD. Yes. <laughs>